Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks and I'm at Collision here in New Orleans and I've been brought out here by F-Secure for a little experiment. So what I'm doing is I have a laptop where I've created a honeypot. So I'm taking an existing Wi-Fi signal and then I'm rebroadcasting it with a new name. So we have underscore free Wi-Fi, underscore because it puts it at the very top of the Wi-Fi selection list and then my hope is, is that people are going to connect to it. Over the course of two days, we had 93 people connect to our fake Wi-Fi hotspot. And what this means is that if they're not using an HTTPS website or a secure VPN, I can actually sniff what they're doing online. So I can see what websites they're going to, what web pages they're opening, and if they log into an unsecure site, I can even see their password as well as their login. So this is a conference full of technology people and it's actually laughable that these are the people that should know better. If I did this at a train station or a bus station or an airport, you kind of expect that you're going to get a bunch of people to sign in. But at a technology conference where this is meant to be the smartest of the smart people who are innovating the industry and they know what to do with tech, 93 people decided that they wanted to put their privacy at risk. Shame on you, collision attendees. Shame on you. I bet he was one of the guys that signed in. So if you want to know uh, what types of things you can do to protect yourself, plug in that you could install called HTTPS Everywhere. And so this will force every website to become secure so key loggers can't actually uh, use it. Now you can also use a VPN. Uh, I use ExpressVPN, but this is a pretty expensive one because I travel to China a lot. Uh, F-Secure also has their own VPN, which I'm going to try out after the show. So those are just two super simple tips on how to stay safe using public Wi-Fi. There's obviously a lot of other ones. Collision 2016, overall an extremely interesting conference and even more interesting with the fact that I got to set up little fake Wi-Fis and see people's content. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geek.